M0FXB Digital Ham Radio Diary. Welcome. M0FXB, so here's my ICOM 705 in my version of dual watch. Now, so in other radios like Yesu, you have a dual watch feature where you basically watch, you have two channels and it keeps flicking over to another channel, uh, your favourite two channels, to see if there's activity. And if there is, then uh, you can uh, have a listen on that channel. So this is how I've done it using an ICOM 705. So the first thing you do is just create those two memory channels and put them into a memory. So I'll just show you we're on memory number 02, which says it here, 02, that's memory, group 2. And we've got two memory channels. And I've just done it this time using uh, my favorite uh, DR channel. But I've used, I just put the settings in memory. Now to set a DR channel in memory, you need to just go, when you go, when you create the channel, and you put, put the zero shift in if it's your hotspot or you put the shift in of the repeater, just go menu and go to your CS settings and just make sure these are all populated. If they're not, then you haven't done it yet. So if I just change it to my DR channel, which is this one here, on one Charlie, then I go back to the menu, menu, CS, and look, it's all populated. Now, if these aren't populated the same as your DR channel, it won't work. So just to change them, you just hold your finger in and you repeat to one and repeat to two is, you need B and G if you've only got one hotspot. So just make sure that's, and with your call sign in my course, in the my call sign part of the radio. And just, if you want to set your call sign, just go menu, then go set and then just scroll down to my station, hit that and then look my call sign and you can hold your finger on that to change it. So once you've uh, created your DR channel, basically my hotspot channel, because if I use my open spot three, I can go anywhere with this, with this frequency. Once you create it, you want to get it in the memory. So when you create it, create it in, in VFO mode. VFO mode, you just tap here and select VFO. I'll just show you that again. So VFO, then just tap here, that's VFO. You're in VFO mode, it says VFO there. So we'll do the DR one first. So there's the DR, everything's in as I just showed you. And you want to get it into a memory, so tap the VFO button here. Now first thing is choose a group. Now I've called this group my channel to scan i'll show you how i did that i'll just do the same again so just go to group number three which hasn't been created yet hold your finger on it and then edit the name and then we'll just do it we'll call it my two two uh actually we'll call it my jaw watch For speed, I'll just call it my jewel. Enter. So you've created the group, and now you want to just back out of there. You've got the channel already here, so you just want to get that into your into your uh, into that group. So just tap VFO. You've already created the group, so tap group. Select that group. So scroll down one with this to my jewel. Tap it, and then you're on that group, but you haven't put the channel in yet. Now hold down MW. And you'll get a beep and it will say, I've just put that channel into group number three, which is your dual watch group. So back out of that and then now create the second channel. So my second channel is a simplex channel for my all star node. So we're just going to make sure we're in VFO, but we are. Then we're going to go to FM. And we're going to change the frequency to that to my, it's 434550 for my, for my all star node. And we just need to make sure it's simplex. So just go function. We want simplex here now. So off for dualplex. And then there's no need to set a tone. And then, uh, sorry, um, a shift. But on, we do need a tone because it's on 77 hertz. So we've got tone here. So we need to make sure that's on. So tone squelch on. And then hold our finger. And we need to set it. And mine is at 77. But you can change that by moving the large knob here. So OK. And then just to make sure, I'll just quickly key the mic and make sure there's no shifts. There you are, and you see my all-star node come back then. So, now we just need to get it into the same group. 
So what we do, we just go tap VFOA. We already know we're in that group, but we'll make sure we'll tap group. We're in my jeweled group. Um, and then we'll just double, we'll hold down MW. And that's put that into group number three, which is that. And then just to check we are in that group, we'll go VFO and we'll select the group. We'll choose my jewel. And then when we go to get into VFO mode, tap memo. We're now in, see it says 03 here. Uh, that's my uh, D star hotspot coming through. So just back out of that. So we're number 03 and we should only have two channels. Let's do it. So there's my hotspot DR frequencies and there's my all star notes. So we've only put two channels. Obviously you could put as many channels as you want in scan because I'm, this is my cheat to have dual watch. Um, then all you now do is just hit scan the button here, just hit scan and then select that group that you've created. So my jewel, and now you have effectively created jewel watch because you're scanning just two channels and it will, if one goes quiet, it will go to the other one. Now you decide in the settings how long you want this to happen and things like that. So I'll just show you the settings of scan. You just go menu, one, hit scan. And now you've got a set button here and you can click set and you can decide if you want a slow scan, if you want it to resume scanning when it finds a channel or not, and I've, I've put yes. Uh, the pause timer, that's for silence, I'm guessing. Now, I, I don't really want that as long as that, so I'll just put two. Uh, resume timer, five, yeah, a bit of a hang time there. And, oh, you can even set your manual dial operation scan up and down, it's up to you. Um, you know, so it's a, basically a button, let's just push it. Up and down, it's up to you if you want to choose that, and then you can program the scan edge, scan edge, but that's more for proper scanning functions. But this is just me showing you how to create dual watch on an ICOM 705, and I'm sure you could probably do it with other ICOM radios as well. It's all about using the groups. So, hope this helps. Please subscribe. 73. Just lastly, I'll just show you it in, in dual watch uh, what it looks like bit of a glare here it's quite sunny in this room but um anyway so you can see how it's flicking back and forth between the two channels it's picking up right now it's picking up my jumbo hotspot and it is now if someone activates on the other one and there's a pause and then to stop the scan, you just, just key the mic and, and you stop the scan. And right now we're on um, my all-star note, but there's no activity, so I can key there, as you can see. And if I want to go back to jewel watch, I just hit scan. Oh, we do have to select my jewel. And we're back in jewel watch now. So it's a bit of a cheat, but it works.